Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdy Draws. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say I'm sorry for not posting for another two weeks, so I'm sure my apologies don't really matter at this point because I'm so inconsistent with that stuff. But uh, my excuse of the day today is that uh, I've been taking some AP classes and they require a lot of me, especially when I didn't do the assigned summer homework that's due in two weeks. So, uh, that's why I haven't been here. And so for today, we are drawing a music-inspired drawing. Now this is something a lot of artists do. They draw from, uh, they draw while they listen to music and the music gives them ideas, which I do a lot. And I know some people don't do that and they say you should actually probably like draw from references and stuff more often, which I sort of did. Also, if you hear me sniffing a lot, it's because I just ate hot chips and I have a really low tolerance to hot chips apparently. But, um, so I, uh, I used this app called Doll Design, and I'm no Design Doll. Um, I'll leave a I'll leave a link in the description below for this program because it is absolutely magical. No, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just really like this app. Um, it's completely free. I think the only thing you would have to pay for is if you wanted to save a model. But for the most part, these. Uh, these people are free, completely customizable. You can change leg size, height size, torso size, uh, boob size, head shape, all that good stuff. So you could basically make your OC's body type in here and it would be totally good. I kind of skimped out on this a little bit because I was drawing my character Kalia that you've seen me draw before, but I didn't really bother to edit the legs even though she's kind of got some short legs and kind of a short torso. But the point is, you know, this is a really good app and you should use it if you need if you have trouble with doing positioning and stuff which i always do i have a lot of trouble um doing pr uh, positioning and stuff without references because i'm i've been drawing for five years but i'm still bad at a lot of like not referencing things so um i don't i don't know if i said this already uh this is this drawing is based off of the song Nara by Alt J, which is a song I really, really like. Um, my boyfriend just started listening to Alt J again, and so I was like, no, he started listening to it in general. And so I was like getting back into it because of that. And then I heard this song, I was like, oh my God, I could totally make a speed paint out of this. And so I did. So this song, this specific drawing is based off the specific tagline um love is the warmest color that you'll lose and i as soon as i heard that i was like oh my god buddy i gotta draw this and so i drew it and it was extremely fun to do it was extremely fun to play with the colors and um do the referencing and position and stuff i think i was up till like three in the morning drawing this because uh i didn't want to stop and there was just so much that i thought i could do and then for the um for the end screen you guys know how i usually like put the drawing on like a wider screen so that it fits better for the video well this one i actually put a little bit more effort into it than usual i put like a background and stuff and i thought that was a uh, pretty dandy because it was real fun to do um but it was oh sorry i just like lost my train of thought right there i don't you guys should know this that happens a lot but yeah um i have my most of my inspiration come from music and other sources of media which i know isn't completely a good thing but i'm trying to work on that and also what mostly motivates me is my friend's speed paints because she draws them and she's always like hey you should draw your speed Ugh, whew, that was like a low hiccup she's like oh she's she always she's always telling me how i should like do more speed paints and stuff and i don't do it there's really a lot more I would like to do with my art because I like to sketch a lot. I just don't do a lot of digital drawings and I think digital drawings just look better for speed paints. Um, so I think I should probably do that more instead of just sketching. Though I don't think sketching is a bad thing because it's helped me like with referencing positions and stuff without having to actually like go out and look for references because I just kind of have it in my head now. So repetition is good. I don't know why that's playing in reverse. That's really weird. That happened the last time I watched this. I don't know why it's doing that. But, um, yeah, I know. I just, uh, I, I derive my inspiration from lots of different things, like many other people, and I just think I should draw more. So, you know, that would be good. You know, I'll have my own comic. And I've been wanting to make, uh, sp uh, videos and stuff out of my drawing, but obviously I haven't gotten to that. So, 
we're gonna we're gonna be doing that oh this part was fun this was like doing the hair thing with the colors that was pretty nice all right so we are coming to the end of this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this speed paint if there's something that you would like to see me draw or uh do leave it down in the comment section below thank you all for watching bye guys